Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Story Time. Come up and sit on Grammy's quilt. Good. Come on up, all of you. Great. Today I have a story about two best friends. One boy was named Peter and the other was named Joey. And they were neighbors, but they lived quite a distance from each other, even though they were neighbors. One day the phone rang at Peter's house and he answered the phone. Hello? It was Joey. Hi, Joey. He said, oh, okay, let me ask my mom. Mom, can I go to Joey's house for a while and play? Okay, but be so careful. So Peter got his backpack and he got his bike from out front. So Peter started down the path to Joey's house. And an interesting part of the travel to Joey's house is that the path went right through a small piece of forest. And there, there it was well worn where Peter and Joey would drive their bikes back and forth. And Peter looked around and he saw, first of all, a blue jay sitting in a tree. And he waved to the blue jay. He thought blue jays were beautiful. Look at how beautiful that bird is, he said. And he kept on riding his bike. He went a little further and he saw another bird that he recognized. A chickadee. Oh, okay, what a cute bird, such a little darling bird. And then last he saw a crow and they were all pretty close together. So Peter went on over, had a wonderful time at Joey's house. They played jacks and jump rope and a hopscotch. But the best game of all that Peter loved was marbles. And Peter didn't have marbles at his house. And it, there were so many beautiful colored ones. So he was playing the game and Joey turned his head just for a minute. And when he did, Peter grabbed that one beautiful marble and stuck it in his pocket real quick. He felt bad about it, but he didn't really do anything. So they continued to play, and when it was time for Peter to go home, he said, thanks for inviting me, and he headed back down the path. Now, it was interesting. All of a sudden, the blue jay came swooping down at him and yelling, thief, 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 and he he swooped right down on Peter's head, yelling, thief, thief, thief. And then the chickadee came swooping down also and right at Peter's head and said, Peter cheater, Peter cheater, Peter cheater. And Peter looked and he's going, what is going on? And then the crow, and he came swooping down to right at Peter and he said, caught, caught, caught. Oh, Peter was so scared. He just rode his bike to his house as fast as he could, Let, laid it down in the front of his house and walked upstairs and he fell on the couch in tears and he said, oh, mom. And his mom said, what happened? And he said, I've done something awful. I took one of the marbles during the game. And when I did, when I went back through the forest, the birds were even echoing it. And mom said, oh, I don't think so, dear. Just your imagination. She says, the Bible says, he who stole, steal no more. That meant don't continue to steal. 
So they had a little prayer, and she says, you've got some work to do. You need to go back to Joey's house, take that marble, and take it back to Joey and apologize. He was kind of scared, but he went ahead, and as he did, he saw the, the blue jay, and he saw him sitting there, looking at him really cautiously. And then he saw the chickadee, and he saw her sitting in the tree. But then the crow, the crow is sitting there too, all of them kind of quiet. He raced up the steps to Joey's house, knocked on the door, and Joey came to the door, and he said, Joey, I am so sorry, but I took one of your marbles, and I'm here to return it and ask that you forgive me. Oh, it was such a relief off his chest. He felt so good that he had told Joey, and Joey hugged him, and he said, I know it's okay. And so he rode home and on his bike, and he kept thinking about those birds and how the blue jay said, thief, 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 thief. And how the chickadee said, Peter, cheater, Peter, cheater. And how the crow says, caught, caught, caught. Just know that our conscience can get to us when we've done wrong. And Jesus wants us to live with him in our hearts where we don't do things that are wrong. I have a coloring page and it says, Jesus, keep Jesus in your heart. And it's a very cute little heart drawing. It says, Jesus lives in my heart. Color that today and have so much fun. And don't forget that God wants us never to steal and not to tell lies and to do those things that are right. So let Jesus live in your heart. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you that you have given us a conscience. And I pray, Lord, that you will bless each child, that his heart will remain pure and keep you locked inside of it to help him make good decisions. Thank you for each child here today, and I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed that story. See you next time. Bye.